Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my lock retwist routine. And I always start with freshly washed damp hair. I'm using this hair tie to pull all my locks up on top of my head. I used to use clips, but since my locks have gotten much longer, I find that this is an easier way to hold them in place as I retwist. So I've been doing the water and oil only retwist. So I use some Jamaican black castor oil and I also use rose water. I also use clips. I only start off by just adding my Jamaican black castor oil and I do have it with this dropper to help distribute the oil. And I really don't use my comb much but I kind of use it to help me separate everything. And then I also like to make sure my hair is pretty damp when I start my retwist. Since my hair grows away from my lock, I have to do a bit more maintenance if that makes sense when I do my lock retwist. So as you can see, this is how much hair has separated from this lock. So what I've been doing is braiding the hair that grows away from my lock back down the shaft of the lock to add the hair back in. And usually once I get to the end and I don't have enough to continue braiding, I just wrap the excess hair around the lock and then I just retwist as usual. I'm basically going to go through this back row to show you because this back row separates basically on every lock back here. I'm not sure why edges especially separate for me and I have some in the middle of my head pretty much throughout my entire head but it's mostly around this area where I have the most separation and up top and in the front area. Now, I do get comments sometimes saying that I retwist too much and I don't retwist too much according to my hair because if I don't retwist at least once a month or sometimes even twice a month, since my hair separates like this, I would have much more thinning than I experience on some of my locks. I definitely feel like Maintenance with locks is definitely a not one size fits all. I know we all like to think that all our locks do the same thing, but that is not true. So you will have to find what works for you and what's best for you on your lock journey. This is my routine. This may not work for you. You're going to have to find what's best for your locks and to keep them as healthy as possible. And sometimes the norm or the status quo that everyone does doesn't work for everyone. Sometimes I don't have enough hair to braid it down the lock. So what I do is just take the hair that's separated and I just wrap it all the way down the shaft of the lock to add it back into the lock. This is how I basically separate my hair by using the hair tie. I just pull each individual lock down for the row that I'm working on. And I find this to be much easier than when I used to use the clips. The clips were fine when my locks were shorter, but now that they're longer, I find using the hair tie helps and I work a bit faster this way. Here I am just adding my oil and I'm just going to show you how much parting I do. It's not really much at this point. I'm not as 
particular as I used to be about my parts. I kind of fell off and really started not to care, to be honest. But this is how much hair I usually part and try to keep as clean as possible. And it's not that much right now. It's just the hair that pretty much separates from my locks in certain areas. Here we are in the front and I'm just gonna show you the process again of me adding the hair back into my lock. So I separate the hair that's away from my lock into two sections. And then I use my lock as the third section and then I just start to braid all the way down. So here's one of my problem locks. This lock separates so bad that it is thinning right here. And I have to maintain this lock pretty often since it separates so much. So as you can see how see-through it looks right here in this section. And here's all the hair that has separated from this lock. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it back in. So here's the after. You can see the difference, how much stronger the lock looks now that I've added the hair back in. Here is my completed hair with all my locks retwisted. Here is how it looks without the clips and once I style it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye guys.